I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Passport 197RB. This is a great, short, lightweight couples model. You have the campside dinette, a huge rear bathroom, and a Murphy bed that is very, very quick and easy to set up. I think we'll be pretty happy when we get around to that one because Passport has changed their Murphy bed, and again, it is much easier now. But we're actually going to start off right over here on the campside dinette. I love when manufacturers do this because when I'm having my coffee in the morning or my breakfast, this is the view I want. I want to be able to look out my window at my campsite, not off and see what my neighbors are doing. So, you know, you can be here, you can enjoy yourself. Obviously, there's plenty of room here for four people, so everyone can sit here if you have friends over or family. Uh, also, this does drop down into a bed. So if you need some additional sleeping space, uh, you can use this. Now, it's not huge. But it is great, you know, if you have some kiddos or if an adult wants to curl up a little bit, they can sleep there too. It's pretty easy to do. Essentially, all you have to do is fold this leg right here. Uh, the table is locked into the wall. There's two little uh, flanges, and so you just kind of pull that up and out, fold the leg down. The table then sits, it drops along these rails, take the back cushions, throw them on top, and that will create that sleeping space. You'll notice your window right here, uh, as I mentioned, so big window. Not only does that let you see your campsite, it lets in all that natural light. LED lights for lighting at night. You have a, a panel right here of switches. You'll see that you have uh, one of the switches is for your inside lights. The other two are for outside. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet. There it is right there. So if you need to plug anything in, uh, you know, whether it's a, a cell phone, tablet, computer, whatever it may be while you're sitting here at the table, that allows you to do it. A little bit of storage right up next to that. Your multimedia center right here. You'll see this one does have a bunch of ports on there. You'll have your USB as well as an HDMI port, your auxiliary input there as well. And then you'll see the speaker control right up above. So inside speakers, outside speakers, or both at the same time. And then dual USB port above that. I like the windows right here. They kind of have like the frosted glass instead of the wood. Helps break up the wood look a little bit. Nice pulls on here too. And then you open that up, you'll see some storage there. TV right over here in the corner. Um, you know, the, obviously this swings out and around, so that way if you're sitting it, it, you know, in the sofa, the jackknife sofa, you're able to have a good view there to the TV. It's not huge, but it certainly will uh, get the job done. You'll see right back here is your thermostat. This controls your heat only. The AC unit is ceiling mounted right up top here, but you'll see the controls for that are right there. So we make our way to the back. As I said, this is a very large rear bathroom can take a step in here. Look at this, folks. I mean, I have room to dance in here if I really want. Uh, right down here, which I'm not going to. No one wants to see that. But uh, right down here is the toilet. Uh, nice and easy to, to sit here. You have plenty of space, both for your legs. I'm fairly wide in the shoulder, so I do brush up a little bit on the right side. But obviously, I have a ton of room here on the left. Uh, if we take a look over to the side, you'll see that you have good storage there as well. Enough space for a trash can, you know, smaller trash can underneath. You know, have some magazines, reading material, whatever else there. Additional storage underneath as well as access to your plumbing. The, a good sized countertop, you see this comes over right here. You have the electrical outlet there, mirrored medicine cabinet up top there too. And boy, does this bathroom have storage. We open this up, you have huge storage right here. They have the, uh, the shelves going across. So, you know, you have all the, the, all the space you want for towels and everything else you need to put here in the bathroom. You know, even some of your folded clothes you can probably throw in there. And you have this storage over here, which is perfect for all of your other bathroom goodies. Uh, you know, some of your uh, uh, cologne, perfume, whatever else you bring with you while you're camping, you're able to put right in there. The shower has the simple travel lock right here. You just pop that off. That will allow you to open up the doors. The doors are on a roller track, which I like, because that way when you're done showering, all the water, you know, when you when you go to get out, you open up the door, the water goes down the door into the shower pan, rather than like a swing style door where a lot of times it ends up on the floor. Uh, standing in here, I'm six foot. As you can see, you know, I have a little bit of space here to the ceiling. I have even more if I stand underneath that skylight. So, you know, if you're six one, six two, you can stand underneath that skylight and you won't have to bend down. And then you have the hand wand in here, of course, as well as a couple shelves. So we make our way out of the bathroom, right behind this bathroom door. Take a look at this, folks, just in case there wasn't enough storage for you. You have even more. So you have the hanging rod going across the top, removable shelves here as well. Uh, you'll find this set up in most passports. They try to include this somewhere in the floor plan, but it gives you a little bit of versatility. You can use it as a pantry, you can use it for extra clothes storage, coat rack, whatever you want there. Directly underneath, this is your fuse box and breaker panel right there. And then next to that is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Cut out here for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. 
microwave underneath that of course is your hood and then straight down from that as you would expect is your cooktop uh, a couple things here one you have beautiful countertops you can see the seamless countertops they put in here which are absolutely wonderful uh, the reason I like this is, you know, one, a T-mold, a lot of times around the corner, it'll start to pop off. You don't have to worry about that with the, uh, the, the thermal foil countertops like this. And also, it allows you to undermount the sink. And when you're able to do that, you can have a nice cover like this, as well as they also put in a recessed cooktop here with the glass cover. So even though it's not a big countertop, it is all usable space. Now, you can fold this up and back just like so. So this doubles as a backsplash, you know, pretty easy to clean glass there. That will reveal your three burner cooktop. This is a Furion cooktop that a lot of manufacturers are going to for 2019. It looks really nice. It's uh, very functional. You'll see it has the light up buttons. If you don't like it, by all means, you can turn it off. Uh, but, you know, it does add that little extra flare piece. Oven underneath, in case you want to do some baking, this one does have an oven with it. And then if you move over, as I mentioned, sink top cover right here. This is cutting board quality. If you want to use it as a cutting board, I do recommend just using one side, just using the bottom. Uh, that way, you know, all your knife marks are in one side. You'll see when we take that off, it reveals your undermount stainless steel bowl. A nice big single bowl there so you can fit some of your bigger pots and pans down in there. You also have a high-rise pull-out faucet. You know, so that's something, again, when you're talking about smaller uh, campers, you know, having some of the nicer amenities like a pull-out faucet is something that a lot of them in this size don't have. So I appreciate that Passport does. A little bit of storage right here up top, as well as your tank monitoring panel. Uh, your water heater control is on here, as well as your water pump. Do note that your water heater does run off both LP as well as electric. You can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery. And then you have a little bit of storage underneath the sink there, as well as access to your plumbing. So lastly, we get up front, and this is the Murphy bed. It is, as I mentioned, redesigned. Uh, you know, obviously the, the reason that you want a Murphy bed is because it gives you this right here. It gives you the sofa. In a smaller floor plan like this, it's near impossible to be able to get a sofa in here with a full-size bed unless you do it in this manner. So uh, I do like the fact uh, that this floor plan has it. Now, the way this essentially works is it's a jackknife style sofa right here. Big advantage of a jackknife is that you get a ton of storage underneath. You lift this up, you drop it down just like so. Kind of make sure those front ones are down. And then you'll see you have a lock right up here. And it's literally this easy. You unlock it just like that. Folds right down. And boom. There it is, folks. There's your bed. Uh, you know, the cool thing about this, it is a one piece. So you won't have any seams or anything. Before, Passport had like a three piece foldable one. Uh, this one will be a lot more comfortable because it is that single piece. Plus, you can make the bed and just fold it right up. You know, you don't have to worry about constantly remaking it, fold it up, drop it down. If you want to put like a topper on there, you can do that as well. Uh, so again, even though it's not quite as pretty as the old system, it does work much, much better in my opinion. You also notice this cool uh, headboard they have here. It, you know, kind of has like the, the uh, kind of pallet board look, you know, that you're seeing in a lot of the residential trends. So I think that looks really nice. Both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe there, your hanging rod. You also have nightstands here, and then you'll see you have electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Passport 197RB. Right up front here are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Directly behind that, you will see rails for your battery there. You can see this one has a battery equipped. And right over here, it's kind of tough to see, but if you take a look in that uh, frame right there, you'll see this one also has solar prep. So that way all I have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. Most of those portable panels have a controller built in. So you literally plug it in and it will start to trickle charge your battery. You have the diamond etching right here in the front to help protect uh, from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Three year structural warranty on here, folks. That goes for all Keystone products currently one of the best in the industry. And you also have a light over on this side there, so in case you need uh, some extra light at night. New for 2019, they changed the graphics. Uh, you know, it's a lot more simplified and streamlined, a little more modern rather than having, you know, a lot of the swirls. They want some more of the straight lines on here. So again, just a clean look. The Passport SL series is now what they are calling. Uh, you know, this one, they have the, the SL and then the GT here. Um, the pass-through is magnetic, so you can lift it up just like that. It stays there nice and easy. If we take a look in that pass-through, you can see how big and open it is. You have a ton of space there, which is awesome. Big door on the other side as well. This is cool when you have a Murphy bed and you still get this much storage because a lot of times, you know, that Murphy bed will have to eat a lot of this, uh, excuse me, eat a lot of this up, but not the case here. 
You also see this light. That is a motion sensor light. You have one here. You also have one right in by the door. So that way, um, <clears throat> you know, you can just leave that on. When you open it up at night, you reach in there. Obviously, it'll turn on for you. Power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It also has an LED light strip on there, so you have light at night. Two foldable steps to climb up into the coach, and then you have the grab handle here too. Making our way back a little bit further, <clears throat> you will see that this one has an electrical outlet. Need to plug anything in. That'll be the place to do it there. And if we open this up, you'll see this one does have a covered hinge, just like our front one did, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. Again, it is magnetic. You have the uh, refrigerator out here, which is, you know, my opinion, the best part of the outside kitchen. That's mainly why I want it. Then you have a little bit of storage right up top here. You also have the two burner cooktop. If we drop down underneath, uh, one of the things I do want to show you here, a couple actually, you'll see that you have a propane quick connect. Yes, that is intended for that cooktop. You can plug anything else in there. Also, you'll see this one does have a covered underbelly. Um, this one has extended season camping, so it has four stair down there. That's something that's newer for Passport's smaller lines. So, you know, you can certainly appreciate that. Um, you know, that way if you are camping late into the fall, as long as you run in the furnace, you don't have to worry about your tanks and lines and stuff freezing up on you, of course, unless it gets too cold, but uh, that definitely will help prevent that. Outside shower right here on the back. This does have hot and cold water access. Having it on the back rather than the off door side makes it a lot more accessible. Black tank flush back here as well. That's fantastic. Simply take a garden hose, hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It will wash everything out for you. And then you will see your uh, spare tire mounted right there. Now, because this one doesn't have a bumper, right over here is a storage space for your sewer hose. You simply unscrew that and you can slide your sewer hose right in there. Here on the off-door side, the passports are equipped with Key TV. That is Keystone's uh, proprietary wiring system they use to hook up all the TVs. Uh, on this particular coach, you know, not a huge deal because it only has one TV, but on some of the larger RVs where you start to have two or three TVs, that Key TV is an awesome system. 30 amp power cord is located right there. And as we make our way up front, you will see right up here are your two water connections. The front one here is for filling your fresh water tank. The back one is for city water. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Keystone Passport SL Series 197RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.